Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and this week, we have one of the most controversial cars in Forza history. This is the 2019 Porsche 935 number 70 Moby Dick. I'm not being rude. That's the actual name of this car. I will explain why. Anyways, to unlock this thing, all you need to do is get 20 points in the autumn season in the festival playlist, but before we go and do that, Forza Thon shop for the week. Let's go and get 20 points. This should be pretty easy. Oh, yo, this is gonna be hard. Oh, yo. Yo, yo, get there. Get there. Got there. The 935 is officially ours. Let's go. The most controversial car in Forza history. It's got an awesome little six-cylinder engine that puts out 700 horsepower. It's super lightweight. It's super rare. I love the look of this car. The wheels in particular. There's something so sick about them. All right, let's go. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the 935 and why it's so controversial. We'll get to that in a second. For those of you who don't know, this is a modern take on the 1970s 935 that Porsche made back in the day. These things are super, super rare. Essentially, they're based off the 911 GT2 RS. There are only 77 of these things made for the entire world. One sold recently, actually, for 1.5 million bucks. It is insanely expensive. You might be wondering, though, why is it called the Moby Dick. Oh my god, I've just realized it has brake lights in the rear wing. That is so cool. It's called the Moby Dick because it's got a massive tail. It's painted in this white color. Sort of, kind of resembles a whale. The whale Moby Dick. It's a bit of an L name, if I'm honest. Anyways, speaking of L things, the reason this is probably one of the most controversial cars in Forza history, let me rewind the clocks a little bit. Back to January and Developer Direct, where Xbox revealed some more gameplay from Forza Motorsport. Long story short, they showed off a whole bunch of new cars and new tracks, and this was one of the new cars. That was until February rolled around and Forza was actually like, ah, lol, JK. This car and five others would not be included in Forza Motorsport from launch. We don't really have a concrete answer for why those six cars were removed from the game. The majority of people think they were removed for license reasons or because those vehicles would later be added in as paid DLC, we don't know just yet. Anyways, to make matters even more confusing, this is now popped up in Forza Horizon completely for free, and I have no idea why. The confusing part is, is that it is a dedicated track racing car, and it's been removed from Forza Motorsport, probably to be added in as paid DLC in the future, but then added in to Forza Horizon? as a free car? I don't really understand it either. Moving away from that, it's an absolutely fantastic car. What are we gonna do with this car? Because the problem with it is that it's already S2 class. I think we actually need to downgrade it, make it slower, but in turn make it more OP when actually racing things. So, start off with some engine swaps. We only have one. Bone stock, we've got that six cylinder and we can swap in a racing V12. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's pretty sick. We will definitely try that engine out in a second. But before we do, we can make it all-wheel drive. That brings our PI down. Then, I think the main thing we're gonna need to downgrade is gonna be our tires. Rally tires and bring it into S1 class. But because we're losing out on grip, we can then add that grip back on. 310 millimeter wide tires? I've never seen a tire that size before. Tire sizes usually end in a 5. 325, 335, 345. I've never seen a 310 before. I don't know if that's a mistake or it's just got the most weird size of tires. Then we've got some engine spacers. Bring those wheels out. Looking good. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'll take that. Then we can upgrade our brakes. Beautiful. We've already got race suspension on here and we can toss on drift suspension. We will come back to that. And some weight reduction. Oh, If we try to add on weight reduction, it brings us up to S2, so we will pass on that. After all of our upgrades, 732 horsepower. We're roughly the same weight, but we have all-wheel drive and better 
breaks. I think we're actually gonna be faster than we were before. Last thing before we hit the open road, we do have some paint options. So the only stock paint job we've got is that one. Okay. Group number one is like the entire car. What is group number two gonna be? Oh, is the rear wing and the wing mirrors. Okay. Chat says I should make the entire car carbon fiber. That would be a pretty big flex actually. Exposed carbon fiber. That is just insane. Okay. And then I need to tint up the windows. Nobody can look in and see who's driving this thing. Look at this car. Look at the taillights. Oh, that's so sick. We've also got beautiful gear ratios now. Oh, this is one of my favorite cars I've made. Oh, it just is. If you're one of those people out there who says race cars do not belong in Forza Horizon, I would like to hand you this fat L. We need more cars like this because this is just cool. What's the interior like? Jeez. Honestly, I think downgrading it to S1 class actually made this thing 10 times better than it was before. It's so much more grippy. It's so much more stable. And with the paint job we've got, it just looks so mean. Is this the RSR? It's essentially an RSR. Now that you say that, yeah, this thing actually sort of kind of a very rare RSR car. Yeah. Not only is it cool, but it's also incredibly quick and easy to drive. An easy first place. Everybody knows the best place for a car like this is in S1 class. And now we're about to make it so fast, it will genuinely become undrivable. So the stock engine fully upgraded can build 1,100 horsepower. That's not bad, but we can obviously do way better from our V12. I'm just gonna say, how would you even fit a V12 in this thing? 1,200 horsepower? It's not much of an improvement, but the V12 is a lot lighter than the stock engine is. So this engine is still technically better. We weren't able to do it before, but now we can get weight reduction, 2,700 pounds. Now we can actually get our super grippy Michelin tires on. X-Class, baby! Oh, we can even upgrade the tire width. Oh my God. Yo, it's gonna be insane. 2,700 pounds, 1,200 horsepower. This thing is going to be an absolute rocket ship. We're going up against Bugatti, Ferrari, F40, Competizione, Pagani. All right, let's go. Come on. Yo, we're even getting new accolade unlocks. Ah! Uh-oh, there's a Sesto. Okay, boys, we might not be winning this one. Change of plans. Oh my god, there's like all of the proper race cars up here. I don't think I have enough time to get past everybody. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Get a nice exit. We've got two laps to go. Get the Ferrari there. Descend it past all of these. Maybe there is. No way. Come on. Get the little thing. Get, get the Sierra. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. The 935 is a monster. Let's go. Oof. I was a little worried there, boys. I'm not gonna lie. A 14 second lap time. That is incredible. I think with the right tune, we could actually see this starting to break some records. Maybe. There aren't any proper off-road race tires for this thing, but there are rally tires. Wait, what if we make this like the Porsche Safari car? We're gonna be a Porsche 911 935 Safari GT3 RSR. That's the name. <laughs> this is definitely the most illegal thing that I've done. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. The only thing I need is some <laughs> rally suspension. Boys, I think this thing actually might have potential. This is the perfect car. I don't know what you're talking about. Twitch chat all is calling this an illegal build, and yes, it is. But on the other hand, it's also going to be incredible if it works. Twitch chat is about to learn a lesson in respecting cars. This race starts with a little bit of on-road, but because they're rally tires and not off-road race tires, we can do that just fine. But then here is where I think this car is going to come alive in the off-road section. It's got so much grip. The tires are just enormous on this thing and it can just go. I think you all need to take back your L's. This is a fat W. It feels like a proper off-road race car. This feels so good. To the grip is just unbelievable. Is it gonna be one of the fastest off-road cars in this game? No. I did say it would be a good car though. 
And it definitely is. It is a 911 935 RSR GT3. It works. I think we've got to do the most illegal build we've done so far. I think I've got to make it a rear wheel drive rear engine drift car because that's just straight up cool. And I'm going to leave the stock engine in it, but... <laughs> Anti-lag. I like where we're going with this. I will toss on my drift tires. We're gonna four speed swap this car. Then I need my drift suspension and weight reduction. This is certainly one of the builds of all time. Wait, somebody in chat says the original 935 actually had a four speed? Wait, so technically I made this more accurate? Maybe we're actually onto something here slide it through the corners. I have no idea what car I was using when I got that personal best, but probably anything around 120k would be a pretty good mark for this, but I have a feeling this might be my favorite Porsche in Forza Horizon 5. This thing's awesome. There's 120k. No way. No way. No way. No way. New personal best on the first attempt. Come on. Come on, Porsche. In we go slide it through. Oh, this is such a nice car to drive. I can't believe how good this car is. Kind of just at everything. And that's something I wasn't expecting to say about a dedicated race car. 120,000 points. 130,000 points. The most controversial car in Forza history. If this isn't in the new Forza Motorsport game, that would just be a big shame.